do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students today we are doing chapter plant water relation and mineral nutrition in that we will be studying today structure of stomata stomata from where carbon dioxide oxygen enters from where water molecules are lost or transpiration takes place the most important structure we will be studying today about that one structure of stomata stomata is nothing but tiny pores which are present on the epidermis or upper layer of a leaf now stomata is mainly responsible for gaseous exchange during the process of photosynthesis stomata opens then only carbon dioxide can gain entry inside the leaf and the process of photosynthesis can take place even during transpiration or loss of water the gut cells or stomata have to be opened then only the process of transpiration can easily take place each stoma is basically surrounded by two small distinct epidermal cells which are called as gut cells in monocots and in dicots gut cells are different in dicots the gut cells are basically kidney shaped whereas in monocots the gut cells are dumbbell shaped the walls of the gut cells are distinctly different okay the outer wall basically is thin and elastic which allows passage of materials whereas the inner wall is thick and it is inelastic or it is not permeable structure of stomata stomata is nothing but tiny pores which are present on the upper surface of leaf important for transpiration and photosynthesis process each stoma is surrounded by two distinct epidermal layers which are gut cells now gut cells can be of different shapes in different plants The walls of the gut cells are in different shapes and sizes. The outer wall is thin and elastic, while the inner one is thick and inelastic. This is a structure of stomata representing the gut cells and the pores. These are the gut cells which open when sun's energy falls on the leaf surface, and their opening. causes the exchange of material as well as transpiration the pores of the gut cells basically help that the structure of stomata which is present on the upper surface of a leaf students in this part of the chapter we have studied about the structure of stomata and its functioning i hope you all are clear about this concept thank you